Hello everyone, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager and the Snowflake. And I'm going to spoil The Last of Us Part 2 for you. Because you know why? Because I don't care. And you'll probably unsub to me, you'll probably hate me, or you'll probably laugh with me by the sheer outcries from other people about this so-called leak. I haven't seen the footage of what the leak entails of, but I have read about the leak. I couldn't find the exact article showing all the leaked information, but this is an article that kind of has it anyway, just not as in-depth. So, spoilers ahead, folks. Now, I will say it is troubling and it is annoying that someone did spoil a lot of information about it. And Naughty Dog is probably also very upset. But you know what? I'm not the only one that's spreading it around. People trying to keep you informed about it, they're spreading it around too. So no one's safe from this. And honestly, I don't like The Last of Us anyway. I think it's an overrated game. But that's a different video for another time. Anyway, spoilers ahead from your dear Nico the Legend. If you stay long enough to even care what I have to say, I appreciate it. So, I will read what Metro has to say about the leaks, and then I would like to hear what you guys have to say down below. Now, if you want to spoil it for other people, go on ahead. Honestly, I could care less. It's my choice. You don't have to like it. Deal with it. Alright, here we go. So, major spoilers for The Last of Us Part 2. Read at your own risk. Alright, I'm going to read what this says, and then we'll go from there. It's pointless trying to leak to the videos as Sony is being very quick about taking them down when they turn up on YouTube and elsewhere, but you can still probably find them online if you look hard enough. The biggest surprise from the footage is that you can only play the first half of the game as Ellie and play the second as a new character, Abby, the one who is strung up to be murdered in the 2017 trailer above. Warning, it's very violent. Because only clips of the game have leaked a lot of the connecting plot, is still unclear, but Abby has a vendetta against Joel and Ellie for murdering her parents, who were possibly amongst the fireflies killed by Joel at the end of the first game. The other huge spoiler is that Abby appears to kill Joel fairly early on in the game, caving his head in with a golf club. Since this is a video game, that doesn't necessarily mean he's really dead, but he still seems to be that way every other time he's referenced in the clips. Once you take control of Abby, your goal is to kill Ellie. It appears that initially Abby spared Ellie, but after she kills a number of her friends, she reverses her decision. Although that sounds very surprising given Ellie was the joint protagonist of the first game, the major thrust of the game's plot seems to be the cycle of violence and how difficult it is to end. Joel is certainly not a good person in the original game and Ellie isn't exactly a saint herself, so the sequel tries to show how, her, how their actions look to someone affected by the events of the first game. It's unclear whether Ellie dies in the game, as although she's shown being brutally attacked by Abby, she doesn't actually die in any of the clips so far leaked. Her girlfriend, Dina, definitely survives the encounter, although what happens to her baby is unclear. She's pregnant with the child of her ex, Jesse, who was also killed. There's no mention of the previous rumors that the main bad guys are a homophobic Christian cult, but that st may still be who the group in the 2017 trailer are. It's just they're not the main focus of the plot. Instead, it's Ellie that takes the role of the main villain, with the implication being that if Abby does kill her, then she in turn will be hunted by Ellie's remaining friends. As we say, some of the wider plot details are a little unclear at the moment as it's difficult patching together the different clips, but the action described above, specifically Joel's death and playing as Abby, is and definitely true. Okay, well there you go. See, it wasn't that bad. You did it, okay? You guys okay? It's really not that bad. Joel, it's like, you know, you kind of knew that this was coming, that one of the characters was going to die, or both of them. I mean, the trailers kind of set that up, foreshadowing. And it's true, what the article says. This is the consequences of their actions, so it only makes sense. It's just like in Game of Thrones, people spoiling it for other people. Just like in the new Star Wars trilogy, people spoiling that Han Solo dies. I don't hate them for it. A little annoyed, but I'm not going to hate them for it. So, what do you guys think? Joel gets his head bashed in by a golf club, supposedly. Ellie also gets killed. I mean... Doesn't necessarily completely mean that it's entirely true. Like I said, just take it with a... Well, actually, I didn't say that as of now. Take it with a grain of salt. But hey, I just read you a possible two spoilers of the game. Um, you could probably find the videos online, if anything. 
prob somewhere. I actually haven't watched them because I don't care too much about this game. Uh, so it's like, why am I doing the video anyway? <sighs> I guess I'm just trying to be a sick bastard right now. As weird as that sounds. But hey, this is YouTube. People post up disgusting stuff all the time. Mine is just the cream of the crop, probably. Actually, not even that. Anyway, I sound worse than I am actually leading on. But hey, I hope you did stay long enough to watch this, and let me know what you guys think about it below. About the spoilers. Is it still going to prevent you from getting the game, or you just don't care, and you're just not going to listen uh, to what the spoilers have to offer? But hey, I did warn you before this video was recorded. Anyway, folks, that's it for Nikon Legend. 